Finally, let's look how we can create a variable. We create variable by writing the data type and behind it we write the name of our variable. So let's say that we want number. So we write int, int like integer, and name. Let's say our number. Now we have space in memory for some number. We finish by writing semicolon at the end of line. This step is called declaration. We do this only one time. When we want to assign value, we write only the name of our variable. Then we can set the variable to some value, let's say zero. So our number equals to zero and semicolon. We have to write semicolon at the end of each line. Now we can print the number. So do you remember how we printed hello world? We will do the same, but this time we won't print hello world, but we print our number. Now let's try to change the value of our number. Since it is integer, we can store only numbers. So let's say our number equals 10. And let's print the variable again. I will just copy paste the line above and run the program. As you can see, we rewrite it 0 by 10. Now let's see what will happen if we set this variable to string. So for example, our variable equals abc. Oh, do you see this red underline? That means something is wrong. And we cannot set the variable to string because this variable can contain only integers. And NetBeans is smart enough to tell us that. And if you hover over the line like this, you will see error. String cannot be converted to integer. And if I try to run this program, NetBeans tells me there are some errors. So we have to change that to, let's say, 2 plus 2. If we want to store decimal numbers, we use double data type. So double decimal number and semicolon. Then initialize decimal number to 10.15 and everything is alright. So let's try to print this variable. We run our program and as you can see there is 10.15 printed. Also, we can save space by declaring and initializing the variable at one line, like this. And since I don't want to make this video boring, I will go through the rest a bit faster. So let's create a car variable, my character, and initialize it to C. When we are writing character, we use single quotes and inside we write our character. Another data type is string. So we are declaring same way, but this time we are using string keyword and string value is surrounded by quotes, like this. Also, we can set variable to result of some operation. For example, if I declare new integer variable and then set this variable to result of 10 plus 15, or I can set it to 10 minus other variable. I suggest you play with this and try what happens if you add two strings or string and character or string and integer. Try what you can do and what you cannot do. If you have any questions, just ask them and I will see you next time.